before we even start this video, I just want to say I know my hair looks so much darker and usually I'm not one to point these things out in a video because I think we're our most observant person about ourselves. But I can tell even just by looking in the viewfinder here how much darker my hair looks in this video for some reason. But I promise it's the same and I didn't color my hair or do anything like that. But I just felt the need to point that out for some reason. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela and you're watching Glen Size Style. Today's video, I have another episode of my Ipsy Glen Bag and Glen Bag Plus unboxing, unbagging, whatever you guys like to call these videos. I am really excited about this bag. Upon opening the box of both of these bags, I just see some really great products and I'm really, really excited to share them with you and chat about these products and just let you know my thoughts on them and share with you what was in my Ipsy bags for this month. I also wanted to remind you that I am an Ipsy Open Studio creator, so I did receive these bags for free to share with you here on my channel. However, this big video is not sponsored, but again, I did receive these bags to share with you here on my channel. All opinions are honest and my own. You guys know that I share truly what I think about a product, but yeah, I just want to be transparent and letting you know that Ipsy did send me these, um, which is still after so many months is mind-blowing to me because if you were here from the beginning, it was one of those things that I started out with on my channel. I have always loved Ipsy and it's just crazy that I get sent these bags. And so it's a really huge blessing and I'm just so, so grateful and it is so amazing to be able to share both of these subscription levels with you. I also wanted to remind you again of that price increase that happened last month, I believe it was, or September. Ipsy Glam Bag is now $13 per month and then Glam Bag Plus is now $28 per month. Again, just reminding you of those price increases. I will have a link down in the description box below if you're interested in subscribing to Ipsy. And I will also have all the products linked individually down below if there's a specific product that you're interested in checking out. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Right, so, starting out with my Ipsy Glam Bag. This is the regular Glam Bag bag design for the month of November. I don't even think I shared with you in the intro, but this is my November uh, Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you can tell by the title. Um, but yeah, I usually always say the month in the video, but some reason it just passed me by. But this is the design for the November bag. To be honest, I thought there was like absolutely no thought in the Glam Bag design this month. It's just a basic green like furry makeup bag and then the top is like red right here. The theme is like royal treatment so as you'll see with the Glam Bag Plus it got like the royal color going on but it's just plain like you could probably get a makeup bag like this almost anywhere and what I normally love about Ipsy is unique Glam Bag designs but this is just absolutely so plain and just not a lot of thought put into it but yeah that's just my opinion on that but let's go ahead and get into the most important part, which is what's inside this glam bag. So the first thing that I pull out of my Ipsy bag for the month of November 2021 is by Able Skincare London, and this is the Ultra Plus Collagen Eye Rescue Therapy. I've never heard of Able Skincare, and I don't typically use like eye product. Probably should. They say that you're never too young. I just don't take the time to do these. I'll probably save this for a friend. It's just a basic eye cream. There's really not much to say about this product, but again, I've never heard of Able Skincare, so I'd really like to look into any other products that they may have that I'm more interested in. The next product I am so excited about, this is by Glossier, and this is the Glossier, Glossier. I'm not fancy enough for this. This is their Milk Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash. I am so excited to use this. I've heard so many amazing things about this brand, but I think I've only tried like one product from them, and I've heard such great things. So again, this is the Milk Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash. Here's what it looks like. A really nice size. I'm very impressed. Again, there's really not much to say about this product until I get to try it out and see how my skin reacts and what it feels like. I will let you guys know my thoughts in an upcoming video of what I think of this product. Let me know in the comments what product, if any, you have tried from Glossier. Glossier? Glossier? I don't Again, I was just really surprised to see one of their products in my Ipsy bag. I, I did receive one other product from them in a previous Ipsy bag. Yeah, I feel like to receive one of their face products is really, really nice. Can't wait to use this when I do my skincare. The next product I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag is by a brand I've never heard of called Kinship, and it's the Mint Mud Deep 
for detox mask. I'm not really into like mint flavored or scented products. It's just not my favorite. So I'll probably save this for a friend. This, like I said, this is a detox mask. So here you can see like this is what the full size looks like. But I received a deluxe size sample. So here's what the product looks like. It's important that you read the packaging of this product because it, to me this looks exactly like a product you would see in like a lip balm form. So it's really interesting that this is how they decided to package their pore detox mask. But looks like a really great brand. Let me know also if you have heard of Kinship before. I feel like there's so many new brands in this month's Ipsy. At least new to me. So that is really exciting because I love getting to try new brands because of Ipsy. The next product I am so excited about. This is by that French brand that I have no idea how to pronounce. And I receive one of their products in almost every single one of my Ipsy videos. But it's I L and then space M-A-K-I-A-G-E. This time I received a lipstick, and this is a full-size lipstick. The packaging of all their products are just so sleek and so stunning. I didn't even look at the box, but the lipstick shade is in the shade Dirty Top. This looks like such my shade. It's a shade I would wear. Oh, this is so pretty. I have to swatch this, you know. Oh, yeah. So much, yes. I think I might need to put this on right now. I love like those deep colors for this time of year, so let's go ahead and just put it on right now. I had a lipstick on it, so I just put it over top, but I love how this one a little bit more deeper. I needed more shades like this because I recently changed out or got rid of a ton of my old lip products and I hardly have any fall and winter shades. So this is absolutely perfect and I can tell this is going to be one of my everyday lip colors. The next product that I received in my November 2021 glam bag is by Briogeo and this is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I typically really like Briogeo. I usually only use shampoo and conditioner, I don't usually take the time to do a deep conditioning mask on top of conditioner. I don't really see myself using this product, but at the same time, I really do like Briogeo products. So I think I may save it and actually use this again because their products are just really high quality and I love how they make my hair feel. So you really can't go wrong with Bri receiving a Briogeo product in your Ipsy bag. The last product that I received in my November 2021 Glam Bag is by the, a brand called Sophia in Maybell, and I think this is a lip gloss. Oh, it's a lip oil. It's a tinted lip oil in the shade Jellyfish. I, this must be a very new, like, very small beauty brand. Typically, some of my favorite beauty products are from small brands, just like this one, and this one I have absolutely never heard of, so I'm curious to see how long it's been around, and I want to do some more research on this brand, because it looks really, really good. Oh, this is so pretty. Here's what a looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. So I'm not going to swat like put it on my lips but you can kind of see it just has a really pretty sheen. I could tell it even just by swatching it how smooth it is. I absolutely love that. It's going to be so pretty. I don't want to put it on my lips because I had a lipstick on when I started this video obviously and then I put the new lipstick on over top so I don't want to put a lip oil too but this is absolutely gorgeous and I know that I'm going to love this product. So that's everything for my Ipsy Glam Bag for November 2021. Let's go ahead and get into my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus now. Here is what the Glam Bag Plus looks like for November 2021. Again, not impressed with the design. There's just absolutely nothing special about this. And it just has a crown, a heart, and a star going down the bottom. I, I just, I don't love it. Like I said, I received a lot of like unique products in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month. So I think this counts for two of the products, but it's a shampoo and conditioner duo by their, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I don't know, like Ipsy created like their own like skincare, body care brand that's like clean and just has really great ingredients. And I received some products by this brand in the past. Again, it's uh, like an Ipsy exclusive brand. You can't go to the store and buy these products. So this is the Superb Strength Shampoo and this is the Superb Strength Conditioner. These are full size, obviously. All the products in the Glam Bag Plus full size. And I would normally be so excited about this. But the one scent that I got is the one I'm not excited about whatsoever. And it's 
heart lavender. I do not like lavender. I'm pretty sure I'm the only girl in the world who doesn't like lavender. I know most women view it as such like pretty scents. I just have never liked lavender. So I will be passing this along to a friend and I'm kind of sad about it because I was really excited to see that I received a full size shampoo and conditioner. I don't want my hair smelling like lavender all day when I absolutely hate the scent of lavender. So anyway, that's my saga. The next product I was so excited to see that I received in my Ipsy at Glen Bay Plus for the month of November and it's by the brand Nomad Cosmetics. The Venice Simp Simplin Express Eyeshadow Palette. This is absolutely stunning. I saw this as a sneak peek and I was hoping that I would get this and I did. These colors are absolutely gorgeous and these eyeshadow pans are so big. Like there's so much product that center shade looks absolutely stunning. Like these colors are so, so beautiful. I love them. I'm not going to swatch them all because I feel like that could be its own video, but I definitely want to swatch some of them for you gals and then I'll insert pictures of the other colors, but these are absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I cannot get over how pigmented these are. Okay, but like, why aren't we talking about Nomad Cosmetics again? Just one swatch and they're so pigmented. This is amazing. Okay, so I swatched Venus and then I swatched Baby Grand and then I swatched R3674. I definitely want to use this palette a lot this fall and winter. I've tried a few of their products before, but I don't think I've ever received any type of eyeshadow in my Ipsy bag before. Obviously not a full palette, but none of their single shadows either. I love it too because it has like your neutrals and then if you do like to get adventurous, there are pops of color as well. Highly recommend this palette. I will, this would make a great Christmas gift for your makeup enthusiast in your life. I will have this product linked individually down below. You can still see my swatches. Linked individually down below as well as all the other products, but this is Definitely a favorite so far. So the next thing I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, I was really surprised but really excited to receive. I've never received like a hair accessory in my Glam Bag Plus before. This is by the brand Kitsch. I think that's how you say it. I hope I'm saying that right. And these are scrunchies. This is a really popular hair care brand. Now like hair accessory brand. I'm sure you've heard of it, but if you haven't, of course, have it linked down below. The quality of their products I've heard are just amazing. So I'm really excited to be able to try this out for myself. I love the colors that I received, like they're all like muted and just so pretty, like these are Michaela's colors. I have my hair up right now, like a half up, half down situation, so I might put one of these in later. Like, I'm usually not a scrunchie fan, you never see me wear scrunchies, but honestly, this could change that for me because I've never like felt such a nice quality scrunchie and I do love these colors. It could change the scrunchie game. For me, and I might become one of those gals that wear scrunchies. So this was a really great product for them to put in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month. So the next product I received, uh, wow, another unique product. I received this in a previous Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is their Dazzling 5 Blade Razor Kit, and they're really nice. But it just comes with the razor, and then it comes with two, like the razor handle, and then it comes with two blades, and then I think this might be cover. Well, I don't know what that yellow piece is. I think it may be a cover. Refreshment products are really great quality, so the razors are no different. I've tried them before, and they're so great. So I'm really excited to have received another kit, like I said, because they're not cheap to buy this kind of stuff. To not have to buy one for a little bit is really, really great. There's another product in my Ipsy at Glam Bag Plus this month. Alright, I'm not sure if one of these was supposed to be part of my Glam Bag, or I received like a bonus in my Glam Bag Plus, or if the shampoo and conditioner was counted as one product. I'm not sure, but I still have two more products, but I feel like I should only have one, so I don't know. First, I want to show you this primer. This is by Seraphine. Botanicals and it's the Camelina and Strobe Illuminizing Primer. I've received multiple products from this brand in previous Ipsy's and I absolutely love it. Their blushes are really, really great too. Some of my favorite blushes, but I've never tried their Illuminizing Primer. I didn't plan very well and I forgot my little box cutter thing, so I don't have a way to open this, but perhaps I'll do show it in an upcoming makeup tutorial or something. But I've been really impressed with Seraphine Botanicals in the in the past, so I'm sure this product will be no different, and I'm really, really eager to try it. Right, the last product in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, I'm so, I was so, so excited to receive, and this is by Thrive Cosmetics, and I have heard of this brand, like, forever. It's all over your Facebook ads, it's all over Instagram, and I've never 
try one of their products. So this is their Beyond Lash Extensions Mascara Length and Volume. I am very interested to try this mascara. It is very, very big, but here's what it looks like. This is totally random, but this is also like a very heavy duty. I've actually never felt a mascara like this heavy before. Again, this is their liquid. Oh, it's the liquid lash. What did I say it was before? This is a liquid lash extensions mascara, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. I'm interested to see what the applicator is like. The applicator is thinner than what I thought it was going to be, which is good. I don't like super thick mascara applicators, but I really like this one, and I will try this one soon. I'm finally going to try one of their products, and I feel so late on the bandwagon, so if you tried Thrive Cosmetics, let me know in the comments below. So that is everything in my Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus for the month of November 2021. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing what was inside my Ipsy this month. I have to say, I have to give it to Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month, I believe. Last month I gave it to Ipsy Glam Bag. I feel like the past couple of months I've given it to Ipsy Glam Bag. Glam Bag Plus was definitely the winner for me. So many great products. So many products I'm excited to try and products that I think I'm going to make it in a favorites video coming soon, but we'll have to stay tuned on that. But again, thank you so much for watching. I'll have all the products linked down below and also a link where you can subscribe to Ipsy. Thank you again to Ipsy for sending these bags over my way to review for my audience here on my YouTube channel. And I will see you gals in my next video. Bye!